Yet another box. OMG, and this is a trend mood box? Those are hard to get. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Wigo Warrior, aka Julie, and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. Wigo stands for when you get old. I am 54, or possibly 55, depending on when this video gets posted, but love and enjoy makeup, skincare, doing product reviews, beauty hauls, and unboxing videos. If you are curious what was in the November trend mood mystery box, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. Okay, so as you probably are aware, since you're watching this video, uh, Trend Mood has some really good boxes. It's not a subscription. They post on their Instagram, and if you're signed up for email alerts, but man, when they announce a box, they go lickety-split. And I don't know how, am very old school, slow to respond to text messages, emails, whatever. Um, I got one and I want to say it was, it wasn't too expensive. It was like 38, $39. Um, something will be on the screen to say the exact price I paid. And you want to hear a funny story? I watched someone else's unboxing and had some FOMO, went to go sign up for this box and it was sold out. And then I got an email that reminded me I already got it. Yes, old age memory, uh, doing way too many shopping hauls. I forgot, but I was so excited when uh, this landed on my porch. Talk about a double mystery. All right, enough of me rambling. Let's see what came in the box. And when I said I saw an unboxing, you would think I'd remember. Nope. Um, this is what the inside of the box looks like. Beautiful tissue paper. Yeah. Watch an unboxing. Do I remember a single item? No. But I do know that I must have liked the box because I wanted to go buy it. So, <sighs> look what you get to look forward to in old age. Become a Wigo Warrior and subscribe. Alrighty, so it looks like we have seven products. I'm going to take them out in front so you don't have to listen to the crinkling because nobody wants that. All right, first item here we have from NYX, and this is the Marshmallow Primer. Interesting. Is this a spray or squeezy? NYX, why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta put tape? Oy, oy, oy. All right, well, that's not how you do it, but for expediency of a video, maybe not. <laughs> Hold on, let me put it back together. It's like a cream and it uh, what not to do. You're welcome. Oh my god. Alright, I'm not gonna say anything, but look what magically the shape that just appeared. I will let your little third grade mind go to town. Alright, so does not seem to have a scent. Oh, I take that back. It's so subtle, like I literally have to shove it up in my nose. Oh, and you're gonna ask me what it smells like. Other NYX products? I don't know. Not obnoxious? Okay, um, well, a little obnoxious. <laughs> what is that scent? If hairspray and citrus had a baby, maybe? Um, I'm going with pseudo obnoxious it's not obnoxious but it's i can't say not obnoxious it's borderline but um doable all right i'm already don't remember this i'm wondering if every mystery box was different okay next item we have another drugstore product this here is from elf and it's the booster drops and it says hydrating one of my uh, favorite three syllable words. Wow, is it just one of those days? <laughs> the other one had stickers. This one is like that's glued on tight. Um, but let me see what this booster is. Like, did you just add it to other skincare? 
my little friend will help me figure that out. It says this lightweight booster supercharges your routine to help create hydrated, plump looking skin. These concentrated drops can be used alone or added into any ooh, foundation, liquid, or cream enriched with vitamin E to nourish the skin. Okay. Let's see how thick this stuff is. Alright. Not as thick as how they described, I would say. Feels like a serum. Alright, next item. We have something else from e.l.f. This here is the Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. And I'm going to presume not waterproof. All right, well, I've had one bad experience with an e.l.f. mascara. Um, I'm just going to put this aside and move on to the next product. What is this? It's shaped like a lip product. We have from... Dominique Cosmetics, a soft focus demi matte lipstick in the shade Nude Cocoa. I'm 50 50 whether this will be a good shade or not for me because I'm, you know, fair and picky. All right, we've got some sleek black packaging. Is there a magnet? Yes, love a magnet. Ooh, ah. I do not know. Looking, it looks too dark. It may be one that... I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to put this aside for a future giveaway. Because I got 8 million lip products. Alright, what else came in this box? Again, except for that e.l.f. mascara possibly, none of these are ringing a bell. All right, yes, we move along from Elf to Anastasia Beverly Hills. All right, this is a dewy set setting spray. It's 30 ml, which I am assuming this is going to be travel size or deluxe sample. Oh, yes, most definitely travel or sample size. Okay, let's see how good the spritzer is. Oh, okay, so that's a lock on here if I can figure out how to unlock it somehow this must get over to here and down can I do that without breaking it oh okay twist Durr. I'm extra blonde today oh let me do this first before I okay it looks very fine but it's aggressive so let's hold it extra far away Okay, just as I explained, but no big globs, so that's good. It's a very fine mist, is a little, when I say aggressive, it, it, it shoots on out hard. So, um, that's good. Does that have a scent? Uh, very soft, very subtle. I'm All I'm picking up on is the other thing that I said I didn't like. What was that? Oh, the primer from NYX. It's one of those days. Can you tell? I get extra cranky, extra goofy, extra, like, my videos just go to S-Town. But, hey, fun to watch, right? All right, next item. Ooh, yes. I love this brand. All right, so this is from, can't remember what this brand is. I know, it's Patrick Star. What is, one size, one size. Uh, secure the Blur Makeup Magnet primer base. Wait. We already got a primer. Alright. I'm fairly certain I'm going to enjoy this primer more than the one from NYX, but you never know. Let's... Oh! Oh, you know what? I already own this primer. And I want to say I got it in a trend mood box. I don't know. Something will be floating over my head. Um, do I remember trying it? No. Should I go find the one I have to put on my hand? Probably. In memento. Found it! That's right. I remember that this tube, the plastic is thick and the product's thick. It's really hard to squeeze it out. 
All right. It's a little thicker than, again, I, all I smell is the NYX one, but. All right, another primer. Since I have 8 million primers and barely use them, it will take me 50 years before I even get to empty on this one. I'm gonna set this aside for a future giveaway. All right, and the last item. Ooh, yes, save the day, please. We have something from Glow Skin Beauty. This is the Bio Renew EGF Drops. And I wanna say I have these, not that I've used them or know anything about them, but this seems like something that would come in a new beauty or one of their VIP things. I'm sure something will be above my head. All right, Bio Renew EGF Drops. What the heck is that? Epidermal Growth Factor. Okay, that's what EGF stands for. And it's a serum, okay and it repairs your cells, I don't know. I stopped reading when I saw the word serum because that's all I really need to know. What is this? Does it go up under your tongue or on your face? Because that would be gross. All right, yes, this does look very familiar and it's liquidy. All right, well, usually tread mood boxes are really good. I'm not really disappointed, but not as wowed or I was super excited. Ooh, trend mood. Ooh, mystery box. Honestly, so many like drugstore products that threw me for a loop. Nothing's wrong with drugstore. I'm a drugstore uh, maven and love them. Just and when you pay almost 40 bucks for a box, I don't want to see a drugstore in it, you know? Give me my value. Um, but I'm going to assume or guess that this sucker is like 100 bucks. I don't know. Um, so there's the value, but I guess only if you really like this, just because it's on our box, if you don't use and like it. I'm also kind of disappointed that we got two primers. Spread the love, trend mood, you know, mix it up. I was excited to get a lip product until I saw the shade, you know, that's on me. But if you're going to do a box, do a more universal color is my two cents, because you never know who's going to be buying your box. All right. Let's recap what came in. You already know my thoughts, but let's do a quick recap. All right, we got a primer from NYX and another primer from One Size, a sample setting mist, some hydrating booster drops, a mascara, a lipstick, and an EGF cell repairing serum. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are why did I get this? It is a mystery. True. Um, almost 40 bucks. Mm, I don't think so. I'm sure the value monetarily is better be more than 40 bucks, but just, I don't know, compared to the 25 soon to be $27 boxy charm box. I just enjoy those five products typically. Not always. I don't know, just um, maybe it's because my expectations were so high, therefore I was a little let down. But will that stop me from trying to get boxes in the future? No. <laughs> All right. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. Please let me a comment. Let me know. Did you pick up this mystery box? Did you watch someone else's unboxing? And did they get the exact same? Or is every box different? And I got the lemon box. That would not surprise me at all. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe for those who have. Thank you so much. Remember to click the bell icon so you're notified of future videos. And if you could do me a solid, click that thumbs up. It really does help my channel to grow. All right. Thanks, everyone.